Assalamualaikum and good day. In this video, we are going to talk about vector fields. The main theme of this topic is concept of a flow. The body of mathematics that we will study here is concerned with analyzing flows of various types, such as the flow of fluid or the flow of electricity. We will introduce the concept of a vector field, which is the mathematical description of a flow. Now I'm going to proceed and showing you how to manual plotting the vector field. So given here is uh, two vector fields for vector function. One is 2D and one is 3D. Okay, let's move on. For 2D, first. So first we need to plug in the coordinates. And then change the variables here according to the vector function. And when you get that, you start plotting okay first one zero and then x is one so you move to the right one time and then one one you move to the right downwards so you move to the right downwards and then zero one and then one negative one you move right and upwards because it one one this is for 2D. For 3D, it is the same concept as 2D function, just with the extra Z here. First of all, you still need to plug in the coordinates and then change the variables according to the vector function. And when you get this, you can start to plot. But in my opinion, it is easier to plot with the help of MATLAB software or the website conclusion and based on this you will get these two figures so i think that's all for me and i will pass on to my friends to proceed with this video okay moving on the next part we will plot vector field using matlab okay as we all know matlab is the number of computing software which helps us to calculate and visualize complicated function Okay, first of all, we try to plot 2D vector field, the function of S and Y. Okay, this is the function S and Y equal to vector SI minus vector YJ. Okay, so first we have to initialize variable SY which equal to the exit size using mascrit command. Okay, mascrit is negative 3 is the lower exit, colon 0 0.5 is step size, colon and 3 is the upper exit. For uh, what exit? Same like as exit. Okay, for vector i and vector j based on the uh, equation. So vector i is uh, at, so we need to put at and j is negative 1. So we need to put vector negative 1. Yeah. Okay, so to plot uh, the graph, we will use quiver common where the first variable is s exists then follow it which vector variable okay by that the vector field we plot now we need to in indicator of s exists and y exists simply by adding s label and y label okay this is uh, s label and y label based on the matlab As after uh, we run the uh, matlab the graph we plot okay this is the vector field 2d plot okay Okay, next uh, to 3D, same concept like 2D, but we need to add K because vector K, because this is the 3D. So 3D have a uh, 3 exit, X, Y, and Z. We need add Z here. And mascrit, we have to add for Z. So this is a vector I, vector J, and vector K. So we need to put Z here and K here because this is the 3D vector field. So for label, so we X label, Y label and Z label. So we move to uh, MATLAB and this is the for 3D vector field common. So after we rewind, okay, the, the 3D vector field we show. Okay, this is the answer for uh, 3D function. So for the next part, I'll give examples using online calculators. So over here we have three example calculators. There's actually a lot out there. Um, for example, here we have three of them. And we're going to review each one of them. So basically the first one is GeoGebra. So GeoGebra is this one. So we can have a look. GeoGebra, we can choose either 2D and 3D vector field. So um, for this one, we just change our vector field for X, which is I. And over here is the vector field for Y. Over here, we can see just the limits of uh, the limits 
of the borders of x and y similarly to the 3d geo -Gilbra. so this is similar but it makes it much more easier because we already know the function over here so we can change input of the of the ijk variable based on the function so next we're gonna have a look through the desmos online calculator so the desmos online calculator does have a 3d and 2d one but it's much more complicated for each single part of them have own plot so this is um, not recommended to be done and for example if you want to get a uh, get a good visualization of your example i will not recommend using that and uh, there's also a 3d one but i don't include it inside the video today and next the final one the Kademo vector field plotter okay this one also has uh, the i and j component and then uh, its sub size but basically um, from my opinion using that uh, using GeoGebra is much more easier than using this one that's all for online calculators vector fields is everything about flow so anything related it in the real life as we live in is anything related with flow for example for fluids that flows through an object and also maybe about the gradient of a slope so other than that we can also visualize vector fields wind pattern in San Francisco Bay here or also how air passes through an aerofoil or also the gravitational force around a body of object in space so next, moving on to the next part that we all were waiting for, is vector field is in the finals. Question specifically related to vector fields is not uh, available in the finals. But there are questions that is related with vector fields, which is when we are finding the divergence or curl of a vector field. For this video, we just visualize the vector field and how to draw it out. Khalid and Sulaiman will proceed to show how to calculate these vector fields. Assalamu alaikum and good evening. I'm gonna explain the sketch for vector 3D field. As we see here, our equation fxyz equal x square y square i plus xyzj minus x square y square k so the first step we choose vectors at specific points and as we choose here from minus 2 to 2 then this table show all the points and the value after we substitute all the points in the equation so we'll get example like minus 2 and minus 1 uh, 0 we will After we substitute all the points in our equation and we get this value so we will move to the graph so after plotting the vector uh, field then it will look like this good morning everyone today we are going to discuss about velocity field two dimension or 2d first we have this question sketch vector field for vxy we have this equation for the vector equation uh, v it's xi plus 2j first we have to compute or calculate the vectors at specific points of x and y we have had the domain of x and y we have x for, uh, between minus 2 and 2 and y between minus 2 and 2 also okay now we're going to draw the table this is this is a table and i dimension we have x so to the answer for i in the fxy will be same with point x so zero here will be zero one is, will, will be one minus one will be minus one two will be two and last time minus two will be minus two so in conclusion vector fields is the basic component of vector calculus where from a vector we use gradient fields to get vector fields by that we could determine the divergence and curls using Gauss's and Stokes theorem which we will learn 
in the end of this chapter and over here here are the formulas that we're going to use in the end of the chapter hopefully you are looking forward to learn these two theorems and hopefully the vi this video view in your finals or your understanding on vector fields thank you very much